Hi guys, um, I am out here in my studio space today and today is Friday so it is a work day for me. So I'm trying to jump into documenting more of my business journey. You guys know that I've been wanting to do that and I guess I've kind of been doing that and on a smaller scale. I'm trying to just rip the band-aid off and just get started catching up and talking building a business and raising a family and the things that i'm learning along the way so this is just vlog style um this is really raw except for the fact that i definitely just um put on a hat and some lip gloss <laughs> But uh, if you are new to my channel, then I am Serena. I'm so bad at doing this, you guys. I, it's not easy for me. Anyway, um, I am Serena. I am a homeschooling mom of three, and we are the Falco family. We are on a journey to live, love, and learn together. We have two businesses. One is a photography and video a business called Serena B Creative and then the other one is the Falco and the Falco Kids which basically we make teas um, and we're getting ready to roll out some other things um, we make things for the journey so now that that's out of the way I'm just gonna try to keep practicing that you guys so I can get better and better like I feel like my biggest fear is for someone to have me come up in a crowd and say what my business is about and me stumble over it which would definitely happen <laughs> so i need all the grace i can get and the practice to go along with it so i'm practicing anyway um like i said it's friday the kids are just hanging out and i am out in the studio space we have not been out here too much um for long periods of time i store things out here um my supplies and we do packaging and things like that out here but we haven't been out here just quite as much because it is um not insulated so it is cold right now because it's winter time but i am trying to go ahead and slowly prepare um the space for us to be out here more um and we are gonna we gotta work on a i don't know we have to work on a little situation as far as like um doing something with the insulation i'm out here now and i'm trying to just kind of clear up my space brian what are you doing <laughs> i kindly asked him to come out and help me a little bit i had one of my shelves that i um store my teas on that we keep in house and one of them i have two of them oh. one of them basically broke so now i have to kind of reconfigure my space a little bit so a lot of my teas are here and i need to try and figure out what i'm going to do here um i think i'm going to move this over into this space where my shelf once was before it broke and then this is the other shelf that i kind of sort of was using but kind of sort of not i basically just need to clear it off clean it up I'm not gonna move it over. I thought I was gonna move it over, but I'm not. I think I'm just going to take that rack back there and put it over in this space so that it is, I don't have to keep moving it. Cause right now it lives there, but I have to keep moving it every time I want to bring down my, um, um, my photo paper, my backdrop to take pictures and videos and things like that. So yeah. Um, you guys pretty much know what my space looks like. If you don't, I'll just put a link somewhere so you can see basically the whole shebang and what it looks like. This side of the studio space looks okay, I guess. The other side, on the other hand, is still very much so a garage. So we're working on that. I'm trying to get a shed so that we can move the remainder of the stuff that I've cleaned up and that we use out into that space. Um, it's just, you know, bikes, regular stuff. Um, bikes and some of our like lunch bags, picnic baskets and things like that. I just need a space to store it. My house is not super big. I just have to do the best that I can with the space that I have. Because my kids are helping or are learning how to package properly, um, I, I wanna have like little trinkets that they can add to it to give each package their own little, you know, pieces of flair or whatever. I need to put on my list to grab a couple more of these. These came from Target and I like them because they're just little baskets I can just drop some things in. So I just wanna line these, um, at least the top shelf with a few, a couple more of them. I am currently working on a marketing plan, which I'm gonna talk more about 
in another video i have a list of videos that i want to work on um and right now i am just going to be filming these business you know mom and business family business whatever you want to call it um this these videos i'm going to be filming on fridays since they are my work days and it makes sense to just go ahead and film them on fridays but i basically just sat down and um listed a bunch of different stuff that i wanted to know that i feel like um i gathered from blog posts from others that was super helpful so i don't know i thought that maybe sharing um some of our journey in business and some of the challenges and some of the victories and stuff might help someone else along the way and if anything it would just be something for me to look back on and see how far we have come so yeah <laughs> I've got to get that stuff put away. Um, I think, I think that I have a good grasp on a marketing plan, which I'm so excited about because selling things, you guys, is not easy. Letting people know that you're there is not the easiest thing to do. Um, and keeping up with it and being consistent is really hard, especially when you are a homeschooling mama and that takes up the majority of your time. But I do believe that I'm able to do it. I've been graced to do this and I just have to be consistent and stay faithful and put a plan in motion. Guys. Okay you guys, so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is move that little rack right there over in this space and then clean off my shelves so I can get um, my teas onto the shelves. Oh. And then also, I'm going to be taking some pictures today. I wanted to try to get some of the kids in the tees, but I think I might just do some product shots, um, flat lay type of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my um, my um, my backdrop paper down. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I like this because this is our vision board space over here, but when I need to use my backdrop, my father-in-law was amazing and he went ahead and mounted it up to the ceiling there, which is super helpful because the stand that the actual backdrop um, normally stands on, it really takes up a lot of space and it's definitely in the way. So I wasn't using my backdrop as often as I could have been if it wasn't for the fact that it was taking up so much space. So when he mounted it up there for me, that has been super helpful. And then the only other thing is just, I don't know, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> and I am trying to discipline myself to use it more because oftentimes I feel like I can be a bit lazy, you know? And sometimes you think in your mind that if you have a certain resource, you know, everything would be great in the world and you would use that resource and you know your life wouldn't be miserable and it turns out that that's not actually true because you can absolutely have the resources that you need to accomplish what you need to accomplish and not be using it so i'm trying to do better at that to use what i have to get what i want you know what i mean um because i do really believe that god has given us the resources that we need to move forward when we use what we have then he will give us more you know be faithful in the small things you know <laughs> anyway let me go turns out that was super easy i can't seem to get my lighting right here every time i turn it up it gets darker whatever i don't know so now i am Brian to help me clean up the shelf so I can put the teas onto the shelf. Really, Brian? Really? <laughs> he says I have to wear a coat because it's cold out here. Yes. So I'm wearing a coat because it's cold out here, you guys. Um, so let me try and chit chat for a little bit. Uh, so I'm really excited about the little marketing plan. I kind of had a chit chat with my best friend earlier today and she's amazing and she gave me a great idea. Um, I'm trying to increase my followers. I hate saying followers, but I'm trying to increase my followers on the Falco Kit. So my main goal right now is to just um, focus on one particular part of our brand for our plan. And I'm gonna go into all of this stuff a little bit more detail in 
future videos but for right now i'm just trying to get it all out so um you guys know that we make videos we homeschool we make videos on our homeschool channel we make vlogs um we also have a photography business so it's a lot of different pieces and now that i've completed now that i've completed our branding which is super super exciting and i would love it if you'd stop by to the different places and just let me know what you think and say hi because i did i did a lot of work for that you know I put in a lot of work for those those websites and stuff and all of those branding pieces and stuff like that but um my main goal right now is to focus on the Falco kids um and I think that everything else will kind of follow so I have a schedule and I talked about my schedule a little bit in a couple of videos ago so I have a schedule um, and I just want to stick to that schedule. I have a schedule for posting twice a week on, um, on our vlog channel, twice a week here, at least twice a week here on our main channel and our homeschool channel. And um, yeah, and just sticking to the plan for all those other little pieces and parts of my, you know, of our brand, I guess is what you want to call it that will free me up to just kind of put the majority of our efforts into the fall for kids so my first thing that i wanted to kind of think about was a marketing plan and i have several different instagram accounts i have my main instagram at serena b but then i also have an instagram for the falco and then one for the falco kids and then one for serena b creative i know it's a lot but you know what it is what it is. Uh, so obviously I need to focus on one. So I'm going to be focusing on consistency and just being as creative as possible um, and engaging the most on the Falco Kids. I only have about, we only have like 220 or so followers on that page, which y'all know that I love because it's kind of like 220 people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> but um, I do want to increase our exposure and just really, you know, just do a better job communicating our brand. And for us, I am deciding that Instagram is going to be our major marketing tool. And because of that, I need to try and put the word out there more. So I would love it if you guys share um, the Falco Kids. But basically, that's what I'm putting most of my energies into. So I said that because today I spent a lot of my day um, gathering content for um, the Falco Kids. I want to make our account look pretty, but then also, you know, just get our point across with different quotes and um, just schedule the content so that I'm not stuck on a day and I don't have anything to post. And then that turns into two days not having anything to post and then three days not having anything to post. And then some, a lot of times I have things to post. I just didn't complete the post and didn't schedule them. So I'm trying to work on that today. Um, gathering the content, writing in the post, and then scheduling my post. So that was what I did. I did a very, I think I did a pretty good job getting that done today. Um, and now, since I have a little bit more time, I wanna go ahead and see if I can gather some more content by taking more photos. Which, by the way, if you have already purchased a Falco Kids tee, we would love to see your little ones in it. I wanna start featuring our Falco Kids. So I need your pictures, you guys. Um, I've gathered a few and added them to the mix and I'm really excited about that because I really do want the Falco Kids to be more of a community and less of just, you know, a shop. Um, I do want it to be a shop, of course, <laughs> but um, I do also want it to be a community. It is cold and this coat was a good look, Brian. Thank you. Let me backtrack. So, yeah, like I was saying, I was talking to my bestie and I was talking to her about my marketing plan and she gave me a great idea because I kind of run secret little giveaways all the time anyway, but I want to be more intentional about our giveaways to kind of increase our exposure and spread the word. So now I'm going to try to gather our boxes and get photos of the boxes so I can create like a little graphic um, to make it more shareable for others. Um, something that'll be really easy for you guys to share and enter and tag others so that we can try to get our numbers up 
on the fall cool kids. So I'm really excited about it. I'm a little bit nervous, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous just because, yeah, you know, baby steps, one step at a time. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. Thanks, babe. How does it feel? How does it feel to have to come home from work and then help me do my work? It depends what day it is. A lot of time exhausting. Is it worth it though? It's worth it. You know, for your wife? Of course, for my wife. The one you love? For the one I love, yes, it's worth it. <laughs> Thank you. So this is what we have so far. <laughs> I know, it's not the best solution ever. This is what it is. I would like to find a different solution where they are covered. Well, I was going to get poly bags to put the teas inside of, um, just to keep them protected and things. But I opted not to do that because on top, number one, um, that is more cost. And then number two, I'm really trying to be like, you know, conscious, you know, about the amount of plastic and waste that we are producing as a business. I really didn't want to go that route. So I we're already using poly bags to pack them and ship them in. And then I have my, you know, paper products that I'm using for packaging. So I didn't want to add like another thing for you to just kind of dispose of. So right now it is working just fine. And as it gets warmer, I'm going to have to find another covered solution. And I know my coat is so dirty, but such is real life <laughs> okay I think now I'm going to try to take a few photos of the parts the bits and pieces that are in the boxes and then after that I'm probably going to sit down and try to just kind of gather the rest of my content I basically um, just put our little branding elements and logo and stuff like that um, in on an Instagram template in Photoshop which I hope this is not completely over everyone's head here um, my goal is to try to explain how I'm doing things I want to try to give tips and things if anyone is interested I just started using a um, scheduling program I think it's called Planoly yeah um, and it is nine dollars a month which I know this sounds bad that I didn't want to pay it but <laughs> <laughs> it sounds bad. But I really think I needed to go ahead and sign up for it because I needed a decent platform, a good platform to be able to schedule my post and my content. Um, I can't just spend so much time every day thinking about it and then not getting it done. I need to just do a better job at having content ready to go out and then be able to spend my time engaging. So that's kind of the point. I, I know it's all over the place, but I'm trying, you guys. This is like my my second business vlog. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. <laughs> I hope I hope I do the moms in business some justice, okay? But I'm learning, you guys, and that's like I think that's really why I wanted to um, document the journey because I know that in my mind, I mean, there can be so many fears surrounding just starting and the goal is to just start because you're not going to know things you're not going to know how things work um you're going to have to make mistakes and in order for you to get better so really the key is really just to start and i also want to talk more about you know being multi-passionate or how to know what to do in business i just want to have a, so many things that i want to talk about in my own rambly transparent voice so um hopefully you guys like these videos again like i said i would love to know if anybody has any requests um if you have any questions so i can kind of like put any questions so i can kind of like put any questions um you may have into a q a type of video um i think q a type of videos would be great for me especially when um i can't think of what to film or i'm not prepared to film a certain thing on a friday but yeah, that is what I'm currently doing. And that is gonna be it for my work day today. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it kinda was, and I'm super um, happy with my progress. 
very happy with my progress. Um, the goal is to get the kids in on things a bit more, but I need to have things a bit more streamlined and organized. Um, and then hopefully I'll have like little clips and things of to show you because our little morning meetings and um, <laughs> trying to teach them how to package and stuff, it's like priceless. It's great. And um, it's, a, it's a wonderful addition to our homeschool. It's our little homeschool business um, project. It's just great. It's like real life experience for them and I'm really grateful for, um, I'm really grateful for the gifts I've been given and for, to live in a time where it's really easy for you to have an idea and go after it. It's not easy to do, but it is, the resources are there and you can do it. And so that's why I wanted to share more of it because I don't want people, um, I don't want, um, people to feel like they have a lot of I don't know what I'm trying to say I just want to help in some type of way so if I can show you how I'm doing things I, I can say one thing about myself I'm really good at um, finding a way to make something work it may not be the way that um, things are meant to go but um, I feel like the Lord has given me that ability and I want to be able to share um, like I may not create a graphic in Photoshop the proper way, but I know how to do it and I wanna be able to share that with others in case it helps you in whatever you guys are doing. Even if it's just like making a family logo or um, if you do have a small business just and you don't know how to do graphics or things like that, I just want to be able to help. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more of our business series, building a business and raising a family. Um, I'm excited to share more and I'd love to know if you guys have any questions. Um, do you have a business? And if so, what is it? Um, I think we it's hard for us, <laughs> us moms, a lot of times to share what we do. And I want to somehow create a place where we can share more of what we are doing. Okay, you guys, talk to me in the comments because you know how I can get. I can ramble like on and on and on. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you are subscribed if you want to see more from us. And I I will see you in our next video. Bye.